That in a gold mine between your legs You're out of your mind if you think I'll beg For something I don't need or really don't understand I feel sorry for your old man I feel sorry for your old man While he's working hard, you're taking your Church, Birch. Two minutes till social. I'm on a cheat right now, though. You can do it. of love it's me mike mad dog adams and we are going to be here just uh, singing and drinking and enjoying life as i preach my philosophy that every day above ground is a good day good to have you here before we find out even who's here let's do a social i've been waiting i've been waiting i didn't drink all day sometimes i'll sneak and i'll have a little one before but i've been i've been busy you know trying to get things done and, and then i go why you know <laughs> okay here we go the first social of the friday night then we'll find out who's in the house social is ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy hoy 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 ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy hoy 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 eins zwei drei zufa Now, kids, there's not enough for everybody, so don't all be clamoring at one time. Let's see who's, how you doing, Michelle? Michelle's here, my wingman. She makes sure that I got what I need, which is a wonderful thing. And let's see who's here. I hope all my friends, Kenny Milady is here. Kenny, by the way, that was a great idea. Kenny had suggested, he says, why, he, uh, why don't you invite Charlie Weiner on the show? And it just never occurred to me. And of course, you know, Charlie and I go back since the mid seventies. Actually, I think Alex and I were talking last week about Charlie, seeing Charlie Weiner when we were young and going, Hey, you know, I'd love to have Charlie. So uh, we're going to, I'll give Charlie a call and uh, Jamie, 
uh, from the Flying Jays. You know Jamie. Really great young guy, a fiddle player, songwriter, guitar player. He has the Flying Jays. And Jamie contacted me, said he'd like to, he'd love to come on and do some songs and stuff. So, you know, we're going to, maybe we'll start having some more musical guests if they want to come and perform it and talk about their careers or life or whatever. I mean, what the hell? Why not? Look who's here. Marty Taylor is here. Hey, Marty, how you doing? You're uh, number two tonight, but you're always number one in my heart, bro. <laughs> Lori Leo. Lori Leo. That's like Adolf Elizabeth Hitler. Lori Leo. Because it's a male's first name. She, it's a little early for you to be shaking your head at me. Like, she just puts her head down. There. But she's been doing it all her life. So, Lori, how are you? Happy Friday. Tom Spalding, my buddy Tom, down St. Augustine, St. Augustine, down there at Ponce de Leon. I could say Ponce de Leon, but I can't say St. Augustine's properly. Is it Augustine's? I, I never know. But Ponce de Leon discovered the Fountain of Ute. The Fountain of Ute, as Joe Pesci called it. And my cousin, he didn't, it was the judge. What's a Ute? Uh, I'm in a good mood. I hope it sounds all right back there and out there. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll try to make a couple of quick checks with my buddy Cliff Cater in the house. You're an outlaw, brother. Cliff Cater, you're a dog, man. I love you. Mike Benedict. Ziggy Zaggy, Mike. Ziggy Zaggy Zaggy. Let's do another one. Ziggy Zaggy Ziggy Zaggy. Hoy, hoy, hoy. Short ones there. I've worked up a powerful thirst today. Yeah, he's in a fish coma. A fish coma. That's serious business when you're in a fish coma. Fish coma. Tom Spalding. Mimi is in the house. Mimi and Bub Dick. How you kids doing? Good to see you. Tim Johnson's in the house. He's not on the road. Lake. We're going to I'm going to start calling him Lake Effect Tim. That's going to be your nickname, I think, Tim. Lake Effect Tim. Tim Je Lake Effect Tim Johnson. So. Uh, call all oh, the Caldwell Fire Department fish fry. Caldwell, Ohio. I just finished. Michelle brought from uh, St. Bernadette's. We, we had their fish fry. We And we went with the, went all out extra with the pierogies, with the sour cream and onions and the uh, cabbage and noodles. And the extra piece of fish, but they don't give you the extra perch. They give you, was it cod or halibut or something? I don't know. But yeah. after four perch fillets and a dozen beers, you don't know if you're eating perch or haddock. <laughs> Actually, I do. I know. I can tell the difference between ocean perch and lake perch, too. You ever notice that? I, I It really ticks me out. Say, for the same reason, when I'm in a restaurant and they say crab, Crab meat. It better got that be crab meat and not that Pollock, that imitation, which I like, but don't be charging me crab meat prices or telling me it's crab meat. Don't be pissing off my leg. It's telling me it's raining. God darn it. Crab meat. So I want not ocean perch. I want lake perch. There's a lot. There are places that try to pass off ocean perch as lake perch. Lake perch is uh, smaller and more expensive. Now you know. Oh, uh, maybe what's going on? Just getting home, taking uh, the hope and friend to dinner. All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is going to be a big day for us. It's not tomorrow. You guys can pretend you're going to be celebrating St. Patty's Day, but if it, you ain't celebrating it on Saturday, you ain't celebrating. See, or if you ain't celebrating on Sunday, the real St. Patty's Day, uh, which is why, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm here to tell you that we're going to be at uh, Mr. Ed's Sunday afternoon, four o'clock. And uh, of course, you know that because you can see it right up there on the crawl. Uh, four o'clock at the new Riverside Cantina, which used to be Mr. Ed's. So that's why I don't have the new name up there yet, because for, it's going to be Mr. Ed's to a lot of people for a long time. And I think by calling it Mr. Ed's. The new, the new, here's, here's what should be the, the new Riverside Cantina, formerly Mr. Ed's the way I originally said it. That's the way it should be. The new Riverside, it should be in all their promo too. 
formerly Mr. Ed's. Anyway, so we're going to be there. And uh, Mike Drum, by the way, a uh, fine musician from the Port Clinton area who uh, has a um, performs all over in bands, does a solo, and a very, very talented young guy. Uh, he has a taco stand, a taco place over on the island at South Bass Island at Lime Kiln Dock. You know, once you walk up Heart Attack Hill, who don't need a taco, right? Actually, I think you need a taco when you're on your way home. That's that's the good idea right there, you know, because you got you got to put something in your belly before you get on that boat, especially if the water's choppy. Anyway, Mike's had that for about three or four years now, I believe. And uh, it's sick, very successful. And so he uh, has taken on a bigger, this is a, running a restaurant is, uh, it's, it's tough work, kids, man. I've been, you know, I've been in this business for almost 50 years and I've seen every aspect of it, you know, from management and ownership and food service, the whole thing, you know, because I spent a lot of time waiting to go on stage, waiting in kitchens. True story. Waiting in kitchens. That's a lot of times where the back room is. Anyway, so we wish Mike Drum. Mike Drum, by the way, is going to be a, a guest. He's going to be on here in a little while. He's going to tell us about uh, what his plans are. It's, I should let him tell you. It's a Mexican rest, Mexican food restaurant. So we'll see. It's good. Uh, we uh, performed there not too long ago. And everybody said how great the food was. A lot of people were eating during the show. Goddamn, don't eat during my show. Eat before the show. Come early and eat. You know how hard it is to watch people laugh with a full mouth of food coming out of their nose. It's disgusting. Come early, eat, and then enjoy me. Enjoy my nonsense and malarkey. Look who's here, Dave Stasco from Toledo. Hey, Dave, what you cooking tonight? Dave's always usually making something good on Friday night. So we did have, we had the Perch, Perch Church Fish Fry, <laughs> Conjugational Grouper Jamboree, whatever, you know. Oh, beers for dinner, apparently. <laughs> Hi, Lois. Lois and Rick, you still in Florida? You know, that was a good idea. You should start practicing back on that flute. You know, it all started in band camp, didn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, because uh, Lois was on stage with me a couple times. Uh, she did the flute intro to Can't You See, the Marshall Tucker classic. Can't you see? That's right. Darren Dochi in the house. Uh, Darren Dochi, the author of, trying to think of the name of it. Hold on. That's all right. Don't worry, Darren. I got this. I got this. I got it covered. Let me just, where am I? I got, I got to pull that up. There it goes. Darren Dochi, the author of The Ghost. Of, how do you like that? Was that pretty cool? The Ghost of Putin Bay. And uh, Darren, I, I haven't gotten around to recording, to doing a test recording. Darren has a, a, invited me, asked me to, uh, offered to hire me actually to uh, read, do the audio version of this uh, lovely book, a beautiful little book. And, uh, I said, well, let's, I'll do it. I'll do a test, you know, a little bit just to see it might, you might not like what I do. I might not look what I do, you know? So I haven't forgotten about it. I just have a lot of things on my plate. Uh, I, I, one of the reasons I didn't go to Florida this year or go on the road much is because of my mother. Uh, I'm taking care of her, looking after her. She's going to, you know, uh, life. That's what it is. Anyway, the ghost of putting, and, and, and that's that kind of book. Coincidentally, that's the kind of book the ghost of Putin Bay is. It's about life and uh, the end, the end of life, and that's a, and and you get to the end, and it's a, it's beautiful sentiment. Anyway, Darren's in the house. Let's see who else. I, uh, let's see who else is in there. Mike Benedict, Marty Taylor, Mark Bennett, Mike Benedict, Janie Vogel, hating the traffic. May head to North. I can't stand the traffic in Florida. Anyway, it's it's. Once we get to the town we're in, I like to just kind of stay put and be close enough to where I can either walk or, or, or Uber, you know, that traffic on, in Fort Myers beach on San Carlos going to the beach, man. <sighs> anyway, Hey, here's all the people in Florida. I got, I'll tell you right now, they're going to, they got a tough go of it too, with the uh, HOAs going up and the, 
insurance and everything. To Florida. Ziggy, 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 ziggy. Hoi, 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 hoi. Oh, that is good. What is that a Kentucky bourbon? I thought so. I thought we had one or two of those left. And let's see, Barb Edwards is here. Beyonce's Beyonce's Mr. Eds. <laughs> Beyonce. Taylor, I call I think Taylor Swift is the white Beyonce. That's what I like to think of her as. Uh hello from Italy, Augusto. Augusto, beware the Ides of March. Huh? 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 Oh, yeah. How's everything in Italy? Do you guys celebrate St. Patty's Day in Italy? I'm, I, that's, I think that's a valid question. I mean, uh, I don't even know if they celebrate it in Canada. To the... But never ask a Canadian, do you celebrate the 4th of July in Canada? Because they'll look at you like you're an idiot. And you probably are if you had to ask that question. Of course, they celebrate the 4th of July. They have a 4th of July. They just don't have the Independence Day on the same date that we do. <sighs> but Idaho, Iowa, and Ohio are all the same states that grow potatoes, and they're all next to each other, according to people who live on the east and west coast, or the great flyover part of the country. That's us, flyover country, and proud of it. Tom Small, and wish him on the Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. Meatloaf and roasted garlic mashed taters. Damn, now we're talking some. We're talking some good food. That's that's some. That's that's how I consider my act. I do. I like to consider myself like meatloaf and mashed potato. I, I'm not joking. I, I I like to consider myself comfort food, and meatloaf and mashed potatoes on a cold winter's day is just about as good as it gets. I think so. Just call me. Just think of me as meat. When you see me, don't think of me as mad dog. Think of me as Mike meatloaf and mashed potatoes. <laughs> I kind of like that. There's something there. Chris Mayer, how you doing? Indiana wants me. But I can't go back there. Indiana wants me. But I can't go back there now. Oh, yeah. A little harmonizer down there. I love that thing. All right. Have we we haven't said hi to everybody. Glad Indiana's in the house. Uh, what part? What part, Chris? Uh, Fred Bear. I'm thinking of Fred Bear, or the Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent song. I, I saw it. You ever see Ted Nugent perform live? It, it's, it's, it's worth it to see once. It, you know, I mean, I never saw a man say so much and so little at the same time. I, I mean, he ran his mouth constantly getting people getting, and it was all mostly, mostly guys, mostly young guys, a certain age, uh, not that young. Actually, I take that back. Uh, it was, but it was just a very, very male centric crowd. And he comes out and he runs his mouth nonstop. I, he plays the mouth better than the guitar. I'm telling you. And he makes it sound like he's saying shit important, you know. And but he's not really saying. He's not committing to anything. At least in the, at least the day I saw him. I still like him though. I like Ted Nugent. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, good act and uh, strong act. He just he likes to talk. Same as me, I guess. <laughs> Patty Tiller. <laughs> I'm not knocking sweaty Teddy, by God. When in doubt, whip it out. I got me a rock and roll band. It's a free-for-all, don't you know? Patty Tiller, I know, boring Ohio. We, I love Ohio. I do. I, I You know, when I was working the coasts uh, in the comedy circuit, and and a lot of the, most of the comedians actually, I was probably one of the few cats from the Midwest. There were there were, actually, I take that back. There were there were some really good Midwestern comics who worked a lot. Charlie Charlie Weiner, um, but he'd probably tell you the same thing. I got to have him on because we can talk some real serious shop. Uh, but I, you would work with these comics who uh, lived on the East Coast, lived on the West, you know, Boston, New York, uh, L.A., San Francisco, and they the whole world was was them and that uh, 
and if it happened in the Midwest, it didn't happen at all. But they made their money in the Midwest because the places on the coast didn't pay diddly squat. But when I would go there, they would all just they had pretty much the same mindset, and which was not an open mindset. It was a pretty lopsided view. I actually had a guy. Can you see Canada across Lake Erie? You know, I mean, because no concept. You know, it's it's kind of like people. It's 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 kind of like. God bless the Venezuelans. God bless anybody that wants to come to this country legally and <laughs> prosper, work. Everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves an opportunity. I'm, I'm all about that. But if I was going to trek all those miles, maybe with my family, I damn sure wouldn't go to Chicago or New York in the middle of freaking winter. Did you fail geography? Did they not give you job? You got a GPS on that phone. You know it's snowing like hell. You got, you know, yeah, that's just me. I want everybody to be okay, though. You know, that's the thing. J.D. Bechtel in the house. Happy Friday night, Perch Church. J.D. and Bernie are here. Boiny, boiny, boiny. God bless you. Patty Tiller, Boring, Ohio. We said that. Lori Whitaker, Huntington, West Virginia. Patty Tiller wants a social. All right. Social. I got to get some graph, a big graphic flashing thing. It says social. <laughs> ziggy, zaggy, ziggy, zaggy. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Eins, zwei, drei, super. You know that pineapple rum is pretty darn good. Can I see the bottle? I got to see what's going on. We got, I want to show my friends here what, if you want to try some pineapple rum, this is it. It's good. Good stuff. What's it called? Oh, plantation, plantation, pineapple. It's got a good story on the back. Uh, you give me a good story, I'll buy anything. Just for the story. You know, well, even if the product's crap, if you got a good story, that's worth something. It's like people on the street, right? You come up with a good angle, a fresh gimmick, something, you know, earn it. <laughs> Michelle and Mr. Meatloaf and Potatoes. <laughs> Mimi says, Mr. Meatloaf and that would make you Mrs. Meatloaf and Potatoes. You'll be the gravy. Oh, oh, no, I'll be the gravy. Oh, all right. Barb Edwards, have you heard Beyonce's new country song yet? No, no. What country? No, I saw her in a cowboy hat on the, um, uh, when Taylor Swift was accepting her award. And, uh, you know, they flashed to Beyonce and I saw her decked out and that. It looked like one of those old urban cowboy, hot pants cowboy hat outfits that women used to wear back in the 80s, which you know, it's attractive and it may be cool. That's what it looked like to me. And I go, why is she wearing that? And then I thought, ah, I bet she's come coming out with a country thing. Cause somebody else just did country too. There's people try. It's not country. I don't get, don't give me, I'll play you country. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's all pop music, man. Country fans are the, the ones that buy the music though. Chris bear swim skinny. Mm hmm. 20 minutes from Purdue, Lake Freeman, right on. Matt Starner. Matt, I got to talk to you. Matt named their boat Lake Effect. That's who it was. I was trying to remember your name last week because I was talking about Lake Effect. Tim Johnson's favorite song is Lake Effect. In fact, we're going to call him Lake Effect Tim Johnson from now on. But uh, Matt, I was telling everybody how you and your wife named your boat the Lake Effect after my song. And as a matter of fact, then. You had, what a coincidence, I happen to have this here. You guys had this made up for me. And this is the lyrics to my song, Lake Effect. And they have it hanging on the front of their house, too. And I hate to tell you, Matt, a few people picked up on that idea about using uh, the Lake Effect. I'm, and I'm flattered. So, thank you. I want to hang it up. I don't know where. I kind of just gotten used to looking at it when I walk in my little office here. 
yeah, that's a, it, you know what? It it boosts my my spirit because I go, yeah, you know, somebody really. There are people that really appreciate the art of. <laughs> no. Hey, somebody like my songs. That's that's good enough for me. Uh, Monticello, Monticello, Indiana. Been through that way. It's been a long time though. Uh, Barb Edwards, Texas Holden and 16 Carriages by Beyonce. MD would sing it better. Is it a big hit? If it's a big hit, maybe I could do it. I, you know, just do my own version of it, which is what I do with any song I steal. I mean, rehearse. Uh, Ohio, Tornado Alley. Uh, to the folks uh, who had some tornado issues last night, God bless you. Yeah, we heard about. It. We were watching it on the uh, on the weather. Patty Tiller, pineapple rum, good for you too, right? Got it, pineapple in it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I got those pineapple that old uh, the pineapple tid tidbits in what is it? Moonshine. They come in mason jars. They're about this big. It's expensive. It's like twenty bucks, twenty two bucks or something, and it's in alcohol. It's fruit now. They got the cherries and the pineapple and the peaches. We got the pineapple and peaches up in the fridge, man. I might have to have a little bit of that tonight after the show with the rest of my perch after church. All right. I think we got everybody in the house. I think I've said, did I, I didn't miss Lori Whitaker. No, JD Beckel. All right. I'm just one more time before I pick up the guitar and our buddy, you know who, let me get a, a picture for, let's see, let's get, let's get a good picture. Here's something. There we go. I like that. That's to get us in the spirit of, uh... oh, by the way, you did see the, uh, did you all notice the, the overlay? Um, there we go. That was my special overlay design for uh, St. Patty's Day. There's going to be a test later on, if you notice uh, all things Irish here, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're wondering who the man and the woman in the church in the rain are, that is John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. The Quiet Man, the classic film. Peter O'Toole and Richard Harris above the cat, cat, Mad Dog character. I don't know if people think that's offensive or funny, Mr. Potato Head. But I'll tell you what, the Irish, I was in Ireland not too long. Well, actually it was, actually it was a long, boy, time is flying. Last time I was in Ireland though, and they still cry and get us upset about the potato famine. It happened in 1849, the, the Irish potato, but they they still honor, they still honor that and get upset, get a little misty-eyed over the potato famine there. So I, as a little tribute to that, I thought Mr. Potato Head would add a little levity from, no, I guess not. Richard Harris is King uh, King Arthur, is that? Or, I don't know. That was, uh, yeah, I'll get it. And this guy looks like fun. He's, he's having fun on his motorcycle with his sheep. That's that's love, baby. And when you love your sheep. And then, of course, there's Spencer Tracy, the great Irish actor. We have a sheep. Make up your own joke. A, bo <laughs> a box of Lucky Charms, corned beef, a Guinness. And you can't see it because the cross says, uh, help wanted, no Irish need apply. So that must have been here. Anyway, so we're having a little fun with that. All right, how about a song? Can I do you a song? All right, let's see. Let's see how the guitar is feeling today. Oh, yeah. I hope it stayed in tune. It's not. Let me turn it down. Let me tune it real quick here.
see its days of old in a search for wealth untold. They dig for silver and they dig for gold and they leave the empty hole. Way down south in the Everglades, where the black water rolls and the sawgrass waves, the eagles climb and the olives play in the land of Seminole. Blow, blow, Seminole wind, blow like you never come to Florida again. I call to you like a long lost friend down the Rudy Mall. Blow from the Okeechobee all the way up to the Mickinaupi. Blow across the home of the Seminole. Alligators and the gall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Progress came and took its toll in the days of flood control. They made the plants and they drained the lands. Now the glades are golden dry. Last time I walked back in the swamp, yeah, I stood up on a cypress stone. I listened close and I heard the ghost of the icy on the cry. Yes, blow, blow, seven old winds. Blow like you never gonna blow again. I'm calling to you like a long lost friend. I know who you are. Yeah, blow, blow me up the Chobe, all the way up to the Mickey Blow across the home of the Seminole, alligators and the dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blow, blow, seminal wind, blow like you're never gonna blow again. Call to you like a long lost friend, yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, blow, blow, Joby, all the way up. Picking on people, gonna blow across a whole lot of seminal. The alligators in the garden. songs back to back seminal win by john anderson good song john anderson i got to do a couple shows with john anderson maybe more than once uh i worked with a lot of open for a lot of people and the second you know the second song was that was kenny rogers first big hit kenny rogers in the first edition and kim carnes was the female singer in the first edition she was in the same you know in kenny rogers band that's how they ended up doing that uh, duo together many years later. 
after Kenny got really big after the, you know. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. Then sitting at the table would be time enough for counting boys when the dealing's done. Every game of knows the secret to survival. Knowing what to throw away, knowing what to keep. Every hand's a winner, every hand's a loser. Best you can hope for is to die in your sleep. Well, when he finished speaking, he turned back toward the window and he crushed out his cigarette, faded off to sleep. Somewhere in the dark, the gambler he broke even. In his final words, I found a daisy that I can't leave yet. Yeah, you got to know when to hold, when to hold. Everybody, are you with me? Put your hands together now. I see you right in your living room there, your basement on your boat at the boat club. You got to know when to hold them, when to hold them. Know when to fold them, when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You didn't have your money. Sitting at the table, there'll be time to go a great song that really was don written by don schlitz schlitz or schultz i believe it's don schlitz uh, boy you get a song like that and you're on easy street for the rest of your remember we went to see oh my god let me think of his name jimmy webb yes the great songwriter jimmy webb who wrote macarthur's park and the Highwaymen, and by the time I get the Phoenix, Wichita Lineman, Jimmy Webb wrote some of the great classic um, American uh, uh, country songs and, and some rock songs. MacArthur's Park, though, is just in its in and of itself. It's a it's just a great piece of music, perhaps a little bit overblown, but at the time that was really cool to have orchestra with kind of a rock ballad. MacArthur's Park is melting in the dark, all the sweet green icing flowing down. Someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think that I can take it, because it took so long to make it, and I'll never have that recipe again. Oh, no! <laughs> well, I'm not Richard Harris, but... Uh... And then you have the, uh, do, 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 the orchestra. Classical Gas was another one where the orchestra comes in. I used to not play that, but uh, never was really good at it. So how you doing tonight? Let's let's check and see if anybody's in. We got we got them bumping up and down, up and down the dial here and up and down the aisle. San Ventura, Chicago is in the Roundhouse Bar. Chicago. Chick was on the car and the car can't go. That's how you spell Chicago. See, I realize that I'm I'm this gonna be this. Uh, I'm, I I have my whole new focus. See, during all this time, I have not been lying down. I have been working diligently, trying to figure out how do I do these chapters, these final chapters, you know. Well, everybody should, you know, be, you know, thoughtful on that to, to get the most out of life. Every day is a gift. You know, every day you should do something with it that makes you feel good about yourself, that you did something good for yourself and then for other people. 
and and it spreads. And anyway, bottom line is, I just uh, why should I learn new songs when I can just play all these old ones? Of people who never heard them before, you know. <laughs> See, I'm the old guy now. See, I'm the old guy. I get, you know, this song came out back in '68, but I lived the music. I lived, you know. I was a rock and roller when I was a kid, man. I was on the streets of Cleveland. I was playing bands when I was 16 years old around here. and uh, Did a lot of crazy shit for a lot of years here and then got out of Cleveland. And Anyway, so I'm the old guy. I want to I wanna teach, teach people about some of these songs because these songs to me and to a lot of people, I think, I think they mean something. I really do. I, uh, they represent a culture and a period of time historically, I think. Um, they say a whole lot more about our culture than we realize. They're they're more than just songs. They're more that they're they're kind of a uh, an imprint, a footprint, so to speak, a social footprint of our culture. Somebody write that shit down. Ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy hoy hoy hoy. Ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy hoy hoy hoy. Ein zwei drei zufa. Yeah, we lost it. We lost every, you know, it's like every day now, you know. Um, so we drink to their memory. We drink to their memory and uh, Eric Carmen from the Raspberries. Raspberries was a big, uh, I would follow around. When I was a kid, I would follow around the bands. I could, you know, I could sneak into bars at 15 and 16. You could find places to serve you and beverage stores to sell you MD 2021. And so me and my buddy Alex, he my running buddy, and man, we would follow these bands around and look up to them, and and then we would play our music and try to emulate them and be like them. And the late '60s and early '70s in Cleveland, Ohio, man, the music was just off the hook great everywhere you went. And it was seven nights a week, you know. Um, Alex and I were talking about this last night, and and you know what, I, I miss. I miss, I long for those days a little bit. I, I mean, I think it's only natural. And I, maybe I'm just being nostalgic about it, but it was a different type of thing when you entertain people than it is now. Now it's so much sensory input has to be, it's not just the, the person with his guitar or the, with the microphone or the band, or, you know, it's now you got to have the sports going on and this school, it's just multiple sensory input, which is, People on their phones. The phones are the worst. The phones are the frequent. And then then people who eat during your show. That, that's the second worst. But so turn off your phone and order your food before I start. <laughs> Damn it. Well, we have a dinner show coming up to cruise in uh, next week, uh, Friday, March 22nd, Harrison Township, Michigan. And we always sell that out. It's a, a small room, intimate room. And the way it's set up, it's like working three different audiences at one time because they're kind of like divided up. Um, but, uh, we have a really good time there. And so if you have that way in Michigan, Harrison Township, Michigan, stop them, get your tickets early though. Cause it will sell It's a dinner, dinner show type of thing. Lois Camper says life is counting down. Hoping I don't have any serious medical issues this year. Well, we all hope that hope that for each and every one of us. That's why if it's good right now. Deeply appreciate it. As I know you do. Jim Cater, how you doing, man? Pooper! <laughs> Get her straight, Jim. <laughs> we can't do that on here because there's no, it doesn't, uh, you can't judge the reaction So, from people. There's no door people are walking in and out of. Always great to see you on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Russ. Appreciate that. Chris Doty, how are you? Buddy Chris is here. Dave Stask. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? All right. In a little bit, I'm going to do another song or two, a couple songs, and uh, a shout or two. And we're going to have Mike Drum, the new proprietor. Oh, there he is right there now. Well, forget doing a song. He must have heard I was going to do a song. He goes, I can't listen to this. I got I to get on here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the show? My friend, Mike Drum. Let's hear it from Mike Drum. Hi, Mike. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Can you hear me? It's are going nuts. You know, they love me. 
Um, well, oh, your hands are uh, hands are probably pretty full with the new place. Mike is the new proprietor of the Riverside. I have it right. The Riverside Cantina. Yes, sir. Riverside Cantina. Okay. Hey, I got an idea for your shirt too. I like okay. I like I like the logo. And I was actually mm-hmm. gonna do this for you today and throw it up on the thing because I I can do it really quick. Um, okay. I I like it, but I like I'd like to see would you could you stand up and show everybody? Okay, see, it's perfect, except that guy should be in color. The oh, skull. okay. The okay. skull. Let me show let me show you what I mean, okay. And I was actually going to take it upon myself to do it for you, and uh, but uh, something like this color, that like. Okay. Here we, here we go. Wait a minute. You see what I mean? I see what you got going on there. So stand up. Stand up. This, you know what I mean? I, it, I mean, they're more expensive, but I, I, but I think that will really bring out the, sh- the, pr- pr- you know, the club more. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I like bar. the idea. So I, I love doing, the idea. Man? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, you know, trying to catch up on some sleep now that we're open. <laughs> yeah. Now, when did, when did you first, uh, now this, let me just make sure everybody's caught up to speed here. Uh, Mr. Ed's Port Clinton, uh, mm-hmm. and the hotel is still there, the Commodore hotel mm-hmm. and, uh, Mike drum. What, what's the name of the place on, Put in Bay, the, the t- your tacos place. It's called Taco Bay. Taco Bay. I, I can yes, never sir. remember the name, but and you've had it now for. Um, we are going into our sixth season. Six seasons. See, I, I was I was off. I said three or four years, which you know that's successful right there. But six season, man. This is that's our like, sixth. Yeah. Do you do you think people buy more tacos walking up the hill or going down the hill? Um, leaving. 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 Yeah, and actually. Um, it's funny because we don't get a ton of – you would think because of where we're located that we would get a lot of that to and from traffic. But most of the most of our um, business comes from people who are still on the island looking to hang out, who have usually talked to someone and asked for um, where, where can I get something good to eat. And generally it's word of mouth that sends them to our spot. Because of where we're at, a lot of times people kind of miss us when they get off the boat. They're so excited to get there that they want to get downtown, so they almost kind of – don't even see us up there. But then when they're leaving, they're, they're typically uh, um, two sheets of the wind, you know, so they're zombies thinking about, you know, their ride home and if they should find something to soak up the booze before they get followed home or, you know, <laughs> so a lot of times they it makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah. So a lot of times they're just like worried that they're going to miss the boat. So they're just like focused in on getting on that thing. So to be honest with you, we don't get a lot of to and from business it's usually from the people that are on the island already we do get business walk up business but it's mostly well, from people that's a heck of a compliment that they come all the way out to lime kiln to get well you know i think what it is is a lot of people day. i think a lot of people on the island they go and the first thing they do is they'll rent um, a golf cart or something like that and then what what will happen is they'll go downtown and they realize that all the bars are basically touching each other so they don't they don't even really need the golf cart to go very far so they they rent their golf cart and then they park it on the street and then they walk to and from all the bars because they're so close to each other. So my spot gives them an opportunity to go use their golf cart that they rented. And, you know, hopefully if they haven't had too much to drink and then they can drive over to the other side of the island, maybe, you know, see some of the some of the island that maybe they haven't seen before. So, you know. yeah, man. Well, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Now, with having and this even makes more sense because having a successful taco Restaurant. And it's a, it's a carry out or it's a, a dine in. Yeah. Yeah. We um, have that patio I know out there. Yeah. We right? have a multi level deck there at the Miller Ferry, but we don't have an actual dining it's not room. So indoor it's indoor dining. Correct. No, it's it's just, it's a kitchen with uh, with an out, with all outdoor seating. So all of our stuff is designed at Taco Bay to go into go boxes uh, yeah. wrapped in foils and in bags and stuff. So one of the things that's been really, really, really nice about Riverside is that we've been able to see all this food that we've been cooking for the last five years go you know get plated on nice plates and things like that and so it's it's a different experience it's really nice to you remember see how to that. handle a plate and silverware yeah <laughs> i do because you know at home i still i still use that stuff. <laughs> you home. get the kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but well you know but it does make sense now having it because people say well now why is it gonna because the you're, you're mostly you're primarily focused on mexican food at yes sir. riverside cantina yes sir 
are you doing uh, are you doing any burgers or anything like that or uh... um no not really um you know we have great there's right across the street is doc's beach house who um you know has an amazing american yeah. menu with all kinds of great things i think that it's a good opportunity to kind of cross promote um if you know anything about me when it comes to like like even like my cover bands and things like that i like to stick to a specific kind of style or theme and kind of stick to those guns and go with it because I, it's like a sure um you know what you're going to get you know what i mean so i the smorgasbord menu thing is not necessarily my cup of tea. I like to have a little more focus. Um, so that's why that's why we're doing it. Well, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, and a nice nice addition to uh, to the area. It's something new, and you're going to still continue to have entertainment. Yeah, we've actually uh, last night we had our um, aside from from you when we had you uh, what was that? I believe it was on the January th- or oh, for yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, no, actually, you you were in here when we were making the transition. Still, and we were in the process of swapping between uh, Mr. Reds and, and Riverside. The last time you oh, played yeah. here, it was uh, it was a, a month ago or so. Yeah. But uh, you know, we've just it's been. I forget the question, but it's it's been a process. You know what I mean? Making the transition, but it, we what have about- started. We started booking entertainment. You were the first one that actually came through, but you were on the books with Jeremy from yeah. Mr. Reds. Well, I opened is- the place. Yeah, so you when you first were ex- open. I played there. That was the yeah. very first act, the very first New Year's show, the very first everything. Mm-hmm. So you were the first show for Mr. Ed's, you said? Yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed and I, Ed and I go back. Yeah, Ed and I go back. I opened up the, the. Uh, well, the funny fact: you were the first Riverside, Cantina. Um, act we keep as well. the tradition going. <laughs> I, yeah. 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 No, Ed, yeah. Ed was before he even owned any bar. Ed Fitzgerald, who owns uh, folks, for those of you who don't know, my buddy Ed Fitzgerald, uh, he has uh, Mr. Ed's in Port Clinton, Mr. Ed's on the island. He has a couple hotels. Blah, blah, blah. But I knew Ed before he owned a bar or anything. And when he was just, he would just come to the roundhouse. He was a big fan. And uh, we became friends. And uh, so it's been fun to watch the trajectory of his career over 30 years. Absolutely. You yep. know, Him and, the, and, and the with family. many, same with many people on the island. And of course we lost mm-hmm. Mark Matisse yes. this last year, which is, uh, you know, everybody's going, you know, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I, uh, Ed still comes out to the shows uh, and I, you know, I don't know. The, the, the Fitzgeralds have always been um, a blessing in my life. Uh, I remember when I was 18 years old, they called me up and uh, they had a band here from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It was one of the first times that they had brought in a, a band that wasn't necessarily local. And uh, they were spending a little bit more on it and they knew they needed more sound and lights and stuff. So they they brought in uh, some outsourced gear that um, unfortunately the person that they rented it from wasn't the, didn't have the best ear, but he did have some gear. So um, when, they, when when they set it all up and the band got fired up and playing for the first time, they were, they kind of freaked out because it did not sound very good. And they were worried that, you know, maybe they weren't, they weren't well, getting a tough the, room to sound what they out. paid for. Oh yeah. It's a very, it takes a lot like of a reverb to make that room yeah. sound right. Yeah. So they got a hold of me and they asked if I knew anything about sound. Um, and uh, so I went in there and we ended up making it sound pretty good. And that's kind of the day that solidified, um, a job for me at Mr. Ed's as uh, the house sound guy for when they would bring bands and stuff like that. In. So that's you know, kind of what got my feet aware wet. Of that. Yeah, that, that's what really got my feet wet at Ed's. I did it for a long, long time, actually. I did both properties. Um, I helped Jeremy launch a bunch of his Bar 145s when it came to... Yeah, he's um, done a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He never you know, slows down, does he? He's He's got quite the repertoire and he's quite the, the mentor to have um, you know, the luxury of getting to talk to uh, on a daily basis when it comes to any kind of questions I might have about my first bar because Riverside is definitely yeah. uh, a learning curve for me, you know, it's a different well, beast. Yeah, it's good to have him. Be, he's a good guy. He's done a lot. And uh, you got a lot, a lot, lot on your plate, man, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's a very exciting time for you. Yeah, absolutely. The ball's really rolling now. So it's, it's really starting to smooth out. So um, like we, right now my dining room is full. Um, so, I mean, it's uh you Eventually, know, you'll buy the hotel. That's the long-term <laughs> plan, you know. <laughs> got to get me. You got to get this small-time, uh, starting from zero guy from Port Clinton up to uh, 
yeah. to where I can make a purchase owner, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to turn me into that guy. So that's the five year plan, right? You never know. You know, well, <laughs> you know Dougie, my buddy Dougie, he says, <laughs> he looked at me the other day and we were talking to him, or actually it was several months ago, but we say it a lot now. It's become a little catchphrase for us is a, this ain't a five year plan at our age. This ain't a five year <laughs> yeah. plan anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just Makes taking sense. it one day at a time, trying to. So, are you going to perform there? You, uh, I mean, you know, you've performed all over. You have quite a, a career music. I've been, uh, I've you've been playing put in bass since I've been playing put in bass since 2002. So, um, this is this will be my 22nd or 23rd wow. season playing music over at Put in Bay. I am booked at um, Mojito Bay and Frosties. Um, and then I've got a handful of things over here on the mainland as well. But once I uh, solidified this. The, the bar restaurant here, I kind of drew a line on my schedule. and was like, okay, I'm not going to book any more stuff right now. You know, besides a couple special events I booked, uh, like downtown Madison Street. Like I'm doing some big stage stuff. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to kind of be around here, making sure that we can keep the quality, uh, you know, at, the, at, the, right at its peak. Right on. Hey, in case you just joined us, this is uh, my friend Mike Drum. He's the new proprietor of the Riverside cantina formerly mr ed's in port clinton ohio mike are you gonna have there it is right there man we're gonna get you to go higher end higher ed with color there you go I so to... i do have a i am getting a mural on the back of the wall there behind the stage and it will be this logo in all kinds of colors like you're th like you're thinking that is the plan so you will be seeing it in all of its glory nice soon soon enough very nice very nice are you going to have start. entertainment regularly every week? Is that a, is that yeah, a so, basic yeah, so yeah, so just this week we launched um, every Wednesday we're doing karaoke. We just started that this past Wednesday. Um, Thursday's ladies' night, and we'll be bringing a th or every Thursday's ladies' night, we'll be bringing in acoustic acts and DJs as well. Last night we had our first ladies' night acoustic act, it went really, really well. We were lucky enough to have Caitlin that's something that nobody's here. doing. Yeah, it's going, it's going, it's going really well actually. That our first night was good, um, and then we're we're working on our Friday Saturday um, schedule when it comes to bringing in the big band stuff. But uh, you know, a lot of the a lot of that those quality bands are kind of booked up already. So I'm just trying to kind of get us into the position to where it's a regular thing. I would like to have artists here that aren't necessarily already playing at a, ten of the places in town, so that we can create a unique experience here. Well, that's what I was looking for right there. Um, you know, I understand that, but you know, one of the uh, one of the things that I've found about that this particular area, the Lake Erie Island area, is that you have your pockets of neighborhoods of areas that have their one or two bars that they don't go across the bay. They, don't, yeah. I mean, younger yeah. people do. Younger people go yeah. out and they'll they'll go look around. God, but the older folks, you know, my age and stuff, they got their place. If they're if they're at like uh, Margaritaville is their place, that's where they stay. You know. Yeah. Crow, yeah. Crow. No, I understand that. I understand yeah. that definitely. So that's that's kind of a, a thing that I don't know if that's something that I, I get what you're saying that you want it to be a. a, a an so I don't have a I don't necessarily have a problem with people who to do play locally. It's just some people tend to really fill their schedules with stuff that's literally within a mile apart and stuff, and I. And, you know, there's more power to them if you can get work like that and stay busy, by all means. It's just, um, you know, from an entertainment standpoint, I definitely understand that and can support that thought process. But when it comes to my business model here at Riverside, I'd like to create a unique experience for people. And, you know, when, when it comes to the, the acts that we do have here, I would like for it to be um, something that, you know, you you can't choose to go see on Thursday at the other spot instead. You know, that that's my thought process yeah. for it. Well, that's the artist in you, too. It is. It is. You know. <laughs> I it hope is. it all works out, man. Well, We're looking you. forward. We're going to be with you on Sunday uh, at 4 o'clock. I can't wait to have you. St. Patrick's Day. Great. We had a great time uh, the last show. Uh, My uh, stepdad was there the last time, and it's the first time he had ever seen you, and he can't stop talking about your show ever since then. So Were they sitting right there. down front? Yeah, he's the one that you referred to as Colonel Sanders. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I've been called a lot of things, but not Colonel Sanders. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad they had a good time, man. I'm glad. Yeah, he really, really enjoyed it. So, so he's Patty's definitely going to be there. Who's, who, you, who you got tomorrow night? You got anybody there tomorrow night? So, um, again, this weekend, um, we're just going to be doing DJ stuff for the weekend now until we get our artisan. 
uh, we, we will have more um, performance acts than uh, DJs, but um, we will be using DJs to kind of fill in between the sets of our performance acts. Uh, so we, that's kind we have, of the we have an A dub at all? Uh, I mean, maybe. It's yeah, not on I the books I, right now. I love A dub. Yeah, I didn't know if it was, it was going to be like a regular thing there. Or, um, uh, I, I'm sure it'll be something that we talk about. I love him. We, you know, we, we know yeah, we're yeah. good friends. And so I would love to bring. A dub in, you know, he doesn't really play other places in town, so he would be yeah. a candidate for something like that, you know, definitely. And tomorrow night's a DJ? Yeah, we're going to be just basically playing dance music in here. We'll have the lights up, um, lights on. Uh, we'll get, you know, the dance floor out and we'll be serving our signature cocktails all night long. We do fresh fruit um, drinks. We don't use any kind of artificial flavoring or simple syrups. We make everything ourselves from scratch. Um, it's so it's uh, just like our kitchen being from from scratch. Our drink menu too is also from scratch. So we have um, multiple hand presses for juices, and we also have a really awesome centerpiece for our bar. That's a, a, a really awesome juicer. So we, uh, we everything is fresh here. The drinks Does it are make phenomenal. a lot of noise. No, like an ice machine. No, no, no. This thing is like it's awesome. I'll have I'll show it to you when you come. Right. Don't super, you hate it when they cool. order a freaking margarita? <laughs> When you're performing, <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah. you're right behind. Oh you. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you brought up the food because I was going to ask you before we go. What uh, what is the? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the menu? Uh, yeah. So it's um it's kind of like a. So you know I toured a lot being a musician. I I used to tour with Monster Jam, the old uh you know the monster trucks that drive over cars and stuff. I used to tour with them doing stadiums and arenas. Um, and when I would do that, one of the things that I did was eat a ton of tacos because if I would stray from the path of normal things that I was used to, my gut would get all screwed up and the tour would be all sorts of not fun. So I would stick to things that I knew my body was used to eating, like tacos, pizza, tuna fish sandwiches, you know, things. That, and then fresh fruit. And Is stuff that like what's that. on the menu? No, but... Some of the best food I ever, some of the best food I ever had came from taco trucks while I was out west on the oh, road. I know. Which, I know. S simple ingredients, you know, real yeah. simple. So just like the cilantro, onion, the lime. Uh, fresh with the meat. Oh, uh, right. yeah. Just, yeah, fresh. You know, you could tell it was chopped probably an hour or two before, you know, like it's, that's, that's how our menu is. It's all from scratch. We don't, uh, we don't treat a meat the same. Every meat has its own unique seasoning and nothing gets frozen here. So it's, uh. Oh, very wow. very fresh well, that's really good to know mm -hmm. what's your best items or your favorite items or your most popular items um so our most popular item would probably be our clearly our tacos our street tacos um are probably the most popular are those hard shell or soft shell uh we don't do so we can create any kind of shell that you'd like typically the way we refer to it as um our flour shell or corn shell um our, we have a taco that's called a gringo taco, which um, our gringo is what Mexicans call white guys. <laughs> so we call so we have a, the white boy taco and the white boy is a flour tortilla with the meat of your choice, lettuce, cheese, tomato. It's like if mom said she was going to have taco night, it's what you, would, you, you know, a typical American family would be used to eating. And that's the one that we call the gringo. But our most popular one would be our street taco, which is like the one I was explaining to you where it's. It's actually a double stacked corn tortilla that's fried on both sides on a flat top. Not to the point of actually being crunchy, but it does have a little crisp when you eat it. It holds together. It doesn't fall apart. Um, and it's the meat of your choice with fresh cut cilantro, onions, and lime juice. And that's oh, it's real man, simple. That, that sounds that's good. That's our most popular taco. But we do have lots of other menu items that are super, super popular. I stand by the whole menu, clearly, because, I mean, if it's on there, it's uh, it's something that I spent a lot of time making sure that the recipe was honed in, you know. Mike, I have to ask you this: Are you no corned beef? Corned beef? Uh, we do not have corned beef, but we are. We do <laughs> I have that just for Sunday, you know. For Sunday, Sunday. we are going to be thing. doing. We are going to be doing green drinks. We'll have a, you know green drafts. We'll be doing. Um, we'll have a green signature margarita. Um, there'll be you know we'll, the the. The, the splash of green will be around here, but you know, it is a Mexican restaurant, so we don't want to make well, it. Well, this will work you know. out fine because I don't really play Irish music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's perfect. We yeah. celebrate like, uh, we'll celebrate like Irish, 
Mexicans. That's what we'll be like. <laughs> that sounds then good we'll have me. to do the Irish St. Patty or the Mexican St. Patty's Day, right? Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> anyway, Mike, thanks for taking the time uh, to stop by and tell everybody about your new place, Riverside Cantina, Port Clinton, Ohio. I'll be performing their St. Patty's Day. No corned beef. So if you want corned beef, <laughs> make room, save room for dinner. Have Mexican for dinner, corned beef for breakfast, right? There you go. All right. We'll see you on Sunday, Mike. Thanks Take care. Thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, Thanks my lot. pleasure. Take care. We'll see you, buddy. See you guys. Ziggy Zaggy. Ah, well, that was fun. Nice guy. I, I hope he, uh, I hope he does well. But you know, six years at Lime Kiln, I didn't realize it had been that long. Because, you know, people open up businesses and, you know, the next, it's, it's tough. It's a tough racket. Anyway, that was, that was my drum. Oh, let me see what the, anybody's got something to say and then, uh, or a song request, maybe a social. Antonio Vargasi. Hello, fellow parishioners. Oh, I like that. I like that. Just not done cooking some perch. Boy, you're really perch churching. Right on. Yeah, I don't know if he has enchiladas, Dave. I should have, you know what? I should have had the chat up on, while he was talking to him. Lori Whitaker. So that's where we're going to be Sunday. Um, Kenny Milady asked me, Michelle, when I was young, what was the best club or bar I played? That's an incredible, incredibly good question. To what? The front row theater was, yeah, but that wasn't like a bar. Well, you know, it's kind of a, it's a theater. It's just, front row theater was, you know, but I think that he's talking more uh, around the area here in Cleveland, perhaps, or Northern Ohio. You know, man, that really, because places that I don't like, I don't perform at. <laughs> just, I've always been that way. There's just, there's enough bars, there's enough places, a guy with a guitar who who's got a, you know, good line of bullshit and tells a few jokes, sing a few popular songs and can, can drink pretty hell, pretty good. Yeah. You can pretty much go wherever you want and make your own party. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is. But, uh, I mean, the roundhouse being something totally in its own, it's it roundhouse is in its own class, you know, um, it was usually, it wasn't so much the bar maybe, but the people who owned it, that would make it what, Tangiers. No, 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 no. Dylan's Dylan's out in 82 was a good one. I mean, Tangiers was good. That was, but that was that's more of a concert venue. Um I'd have to think on that, Kenny. Uh of course there were Cayman Islands. I played uh, six weeks a year for 12 years. I love the uh it was the Ten Sales pub in the Holiday Inn. And I would, headline that room as a comedy club and i love that because uh, you, know, you stayed in the hotel right there and you know the beach was right there everything was right there and you were you were like a star you know for two weeks you know you get your name out of the marquee and picture out in the lobby and this and that and everything is taken care of and uh <laughs> it don't get a whole lot better than that but then i would go play british columbia a lot, a lot of little places the, the tally ho the Tally Ho in Victoria, British Columbia, Ken, was a great room. Another one I did uh, six weeks a year in British Columbia for 12 years, and I would tour all over the province. That, uh, and then plenty, plenty of just uh, different one little one-nighters or whatever. So it's hard to say. Hard to say the best one. Every, every There's a memory to everyone. <laughs> Good and Mostly all good. Actually, there's very few, very few memories you don't want to recall. I'll tell you, tight wad may be available. Sue Sailor Kane, tight wad may be available. I, I'm thinking, what's that? A DJ, a DJ, uh, fellow perversioners. Okay, I'm just checking the. Uh, and Marty Taylor still there, still here. Just a birthday with a big group of people. Thor Norway is in the house. Thor, you gotta tell Marvel to make those Thor movies better. They're starting to get crappy. I mean, 
You know what? Let's do a social. Let me sing you a couple songs, see if I can get you in the mood to come and visit me. St. Patty's Day in Port Clinton at 4 o'clock at the... I'm just going to call it Mr. Ed's. At the Riverside Cantina, formerly Mr. Ed's. Social! We got to do some drinking with Donna and Russ Vaughn are in the house. And from Brunswick, Georgia. Georgia. No peace of mind. Is an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Ziggy, 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 ziggy. Hoy, hoy, hoy. To Tightwad and Georgia. Oh, boy. That pineapple rum. I can't, I can't drink rum without thinking of Mongo. And uh, Ralph. And Ralph. And Ann and Sarah. They're all coming to Cleveland. I'm going to take them to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We got to take... We should take Lois and Rick to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think. Yes. Lois and Rick are still here. Jim Dill, he still wants to be gay or straight. He just can't figure it out. I always say, when anybody asks me gay or straight, I say, what day is it? That's how I decide. Of course, our grandson, Zach, what did he say about the dress? The, the some Princess dress or something? <laughs> Oh, I love that little guy. All right, let me tune this up and do a song. Oh. That's what I was going to do. I'm drinking with my Facebook friends. I'm drinking with my Facebook friends. Everybody knows you don't have to wear clothes. Everybody kind of goes where the fun never ends. You don't even have to shower. And it's always happy hour. Happy hour. I don't know why I do that, but I just like it. When I'm drinking with my Facebook, drinking with my Facebook, drinking with my Facebook friends again. Yeah, I'm drinking with Facebook friends. Oh, 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 I'm drinking with Facebook friends. Drinking with Facebook friends. Everybody knows you don't have to wear clothes. Everybody kind of goes where the fun never ends. So oh, you don't even have to shower. Yeah, it's always happy hour. When you drink with your Facebook, drinking with your Facebook, drinking with your Facebook friends again, yeah, drinking with your Facebook friends. Went downstairs to my office, got on the internet, who I was going to find around here, anybody's bed. Up there on that computer screen, much to my surprise, there were people showing dirty pictures and telling them great big lies. They were drinking with the Facebook friends. What? Drinking with the Facebook friends. Why, it's quality time with a bottle of wine. You can stick it where the sun don't shine if you don't like my friends. Yeah, don't come around here again. Drinking with the Facebook, drinking with the Facebook, drinking with the Facebook friends again. Drinking with the Facebook friends. You poke me, I poke you. That's the kind of thing we like to do. Drinking with my Facebook friends. Drinking with my Facebook friends. I'm just kicking back at the marble shack with a big round doobie and a bottle of Jack. Oh, if you don't like my friends, it don't come around here again. Drinking with my Facebook, drinking with my Facebook, drinking with my Facebook friends again. Drinking with my Facebook friends for Jennifer Johnson. Here we go. Oh, I'm drinking with my Facebook friends. I'm drinking with my Facebook friends. Everybody knows you don't have to wear clothes. Everybody kind of goes where the fun never ends. Oh, you don't ever have to shower. You can drop a stone at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, you're drinking with your Facebook, drinking with your Facebook, drinking with your Facebook friends again. Yeah, you're drinking with your Facebook friends again. Drinking. Yeah, I'm drinking. With the Facebook friends. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Drinking with my Facebook friends on a Friday night in the Perch Church Conjugation of Love. Oh, I heard from Mike Sweeney this week. Yeah. I got to change the strings on this. That's what the problem is. Let me pull this back a little bit, too. Uh, maybe get a little more room going on there. There we go. There we go. So anyway, you know, I kind of like this guy up here, this little skull guy. This is like from the day of de the day of death. Was it Mur Murtis, uh Trying to think of the Mexican holiday. It celebrates the day of death. And the penitents, they crawl up the hill to the cemetery or the shrine or whatever at the cemetery. It's, it's, it's a very, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a Mexican thing, you know, and then they celebrate, they have a party and stuff and people wear like skeleton outfits. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, penitence. You know, I did, never did Ash Wednesday. I never did that song. A couple of weeks ago, I was going to about to do it. And then I, I got, I got ADD. M-O-U-S-E. There once was a man who thought love was war. I, I should, probably shouldn't do it because I haven't rehearsed in a while. But I want to do this. There once was a man who thought love was war. He'll stop me if you've heard this story before. He had a purple heart, but who's keeping score? There's a lot of purple hearts in the purple heart store. He was a commandant. Now he's a penitent. Ash Wednesday. There once was a girl, a pretty young thing. Sold her soul for a diamond ring. She learned about love in a magazine. Saw it every night up on the silver screen. She was a debutante. Now she's a penitent on Ash Wednesday. They're both love sick. Time. They strayed a little close to the edge of the fire. Their hands got burned, their eyebrows singed. They're walking down the streets of oblivion. They got holes in their pockets, holes in their minds. They're holy people in unholy times. In for the church at the end of the line next Wednesday. See them hanging out in every town and bar. They tell them love can hurt them now. And don't want you fall. I can't remember all the, the whole song. I have to, I'm sorry about that, friends. I have to rehearse that and, and get, because it's a good song, you know? Uh, Tom Russell. All love sick, love tired, straight a little close to you. Well, maybe, maybe I could do a, a similar song. I lost six people on that song. I want you to know that. <laughs> the strings are slipping, too. Well, well, maybe I should do a song I know. What do you think? Uh, Jim Dale says, uh, who makes the pineapple rum? They're walking down the streets, and I can't get out of my head. Of oblivion, they got holes in their pockets, holes in their minds. They're holy people in unholy times, headed for the church at the end of the line, Ash Wednesday. See them hanging out in every town. Lonely love. They tell them love can't hurt them now, but they got ashes on their face. What is it? Sorry, I was just waiting to find out the rum. This, this is plantation rum. It's a uh, artisanal infusion. You know, you, know you, you see shit like that. I never noticed the artisanal in, uh, infusion. To me, that sounds like yuppie stuff. There, it's an artisanal. It takes away from the. It's got a cool, cool little orange uh, native guy. Uh, and the story I would read because it's a cool story, but it's way too small for me to even. I can barely see the bottle anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should just drink out of the bottle, you know? <laughs> like I used to do. Hey, right. let's do something fun. 
Yeah, the bills are all due and the baby needs shoes, but I'm busted. Hash Wednesday. Thank you, Thor. Coffee is down to a quarter of a pound and I'm busted. Yeah, I got a cow that's gonna try and the hen won't lay. Big stack of bills are getting bigger each day. Yeah, the cow is gonna haul all my belongings away because I'm busted. Called them out of trouble to ask for a loan Cause I was busted Busted I had to beg like a dog for a bone Cause I'm busted Busted My brother said that there ain't a thing I could do My wife and my kids are all down with the flu I was just thinking about calling on you Cause I'm busted yeah, I'm no thief, but a man can go wrong when he's busted. Yeah, the fruit that we can't last summer is gone, and yeah, we're busted. Yeah, the fields are all bare, marijuana won't grow. Me and my family got a pack of can go. I'll make a living just where I don't know, cause I'm busted. I said, Views are all there, and the cotton won't grow. Me and my family got a pack of big gold. I make a living just where I don't know, cause I'm busted. Yeah, I'm busted. <laughs> I'm broke, baby. Busted. Oh, that's a good old Ray Charles song there. Yeah, you do the mess around. Yeah, you do the mess around. You do the mess around. Everybody mess around. Oh, I feel like messing around, baby. Let this boy boogie woogie on a Friday night in the Perch Church base for the love, don't you know? I was traveling down the road, feeling hungry and cold. I saw signs saving food and drinks for everyone. So naturally, I thought I would take me a look inside. There was so much food, there was water coming from my eyes. There was ham and there was turkey, there was caviar in long tall glasses with mine up in your head. Somebody grabbed me, threw me out of my chair. Said before you can eat, you gotta dance like Fred Stay. Yeah. You know I can't dance, you know I can't dance. You know I can't dance, you know I can't dance. I can dance. If we can be dancing on the floor. Yeah, dance, dance, I can dance. Oh, yeah. Good day, Bob. I'm a man of the road, a hobo by name. I don't seek entertainment, just poultry and game. And if it's all the same to you, then I think I will try. Yes, hungry is beyond sure. You will understand. Oh, wait a minute. You know I can't dance. 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 I can dance. Look at me dancing on the floor. Woo! Try it. I did a two step, a quick step, a bossa nova, a Victor Sylvester, and a Ruta Valentino. You should have seen me moving right across the floor. I laid down my tuxedo next week. I'm coming back for more. I can dance. I can dance. There, you know I can dance. Everybody remember that song? Of course, he didn't do it like me. You know what's worse than ants in your pants? Uncles.
Nothing? I get nothing? Wait a minute. That deserves... That deserves this right here. <laughs> I got it. Man. Uh. All right, here we go, my friends. Social Outlaw Country. This one's this one's for Mojo Nixon. Passed away on the Outlaw Country coups a couple weeks ago. Outlaw Country. Ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy. Hoy hoy hoy. Man. You know, I, I was. I wonder if I could find the picture. I wanted to post a picture of Richard Warren in, in, as a pirate. I came across it as I was going through some other stuff today, or the other day. And I had his pumpkins too. And I want to show people his pumpkins. He would go these pumpkins. Richard passed away. Uh, on a cruise in the Caribbean about two weeks ago. And a uh, good pirate, uh, good man. And uh, he would grow these pumpkins. 400 pounds, these suckers were big ass pumpkins. Jennifer Johnson, Peach is still her fan. I have not had, they're talking, you see, they're talking about here in front of me. I'm trying to work, I'm trying to do a song. They're tempting me. With talk of Crown Royal, flavored Crown Royals. Let me tell you something. I remember when Mad Dog only had one flavor. That's how old I am. Stay with ants. Ed Minnick. <laughs> Where'd you come from out of the blue, huh? Ants in your pants. And you just want to dance. All right. Rick is laughing. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you'll be hearing that joke for a while now <laughs> in the show. Once I get a good one, I, I, I never let it go. Well, why? Right? As long as... I only drop the shit when people stop laughing at it. If they still laugh, and I don't care how old it is or how long I've been doing it. That's that's not true. It's partially true. It's a little bit true. It's a little bit funny. This feeling it's Elton John, you know. Of course, my favorite's no, forget it. Let's not do that. I'll save that for the live show. Parisha, Patri Parisha, Patricia. Patricia Baranski is in the house, social. You know, I may, I don't know. We're getting close to wrapping up time here. I don't know, folks. Should we go for a, another beer or not? I don't Or do. Are we out of beer? One more. If I drink it fast. No, I don't know. Do we have one more? You think? Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. My wig man. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm so glad. Nick Detroit, you just had a birthday, brother. You just invited your brother Chris to the show. We're getting ready to sign out here in a little bit, man. I've got one more beer coming. And uh, we usually, you know, I've, hell, I've been on this as long as three hours, but I find that an hour and a half is probably about a good, uh, a good time because, uh, you know me, once I, once I get in, once I catch my groove, once I catch the waves, see, this is like surfing to me. I always, it's the metaphor, I like these met surfing as a metaphor. If I can catch the right wave and get right inside the, the curl there and ride it out, that's, that's what I try to do. That's what we're trying to do. Sometimes you just keep falling off the surfboard, you know, especially the more you drink, you know, you it's hard to surf and drink at the same time, don't you know? Uh, a wing nut. <laughs> oh, wing man, not a wing nut. Oh, wing woman. Chris Suba, hey, how you doing, Chris? Better late than never for the Perch Church Conjugation of Love and, and, and Jubilee. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So happy birthday, Nick. Jennifer Johnson and uh, everybody else. Okay, so I'm caught up with everybody. Okay. It would be a lot easier if this thing scrolled in real time and then I wouldn't have to stop and look, but I don't want to miss anybody. You know, I want to make sure I, I meet and greet everybody. So that's why we're doing it. <laughs> Crazy freaking times we're living in. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely got to change the strings on this guitar. Excuse me.
to the sky I see a light Funny kind of yellow Pictures of matchstick men? Anybody? No. May see a Sunday If not, the RHB for sure Thanks Thor uh, First show at the Roundhouse Bar For me this year is I believe April 27th It's always the last Saturday of April So I hope to see you Thanks for stopping by All right how about a couple of song requests? What do you think? Well, I sip this beer for a moment. Tell you one of the things I really enjoy about being an old fart. I've had the, I've been forced to have to do the show sitting. Not all the way through. Because I, I have no shame, as you well know. I love the joy of music and dancing and laughter. You know, I have Epicurean, uh, Epicurean and Stoic tendencies. But uh, I think life is to enjoy, that every day is a gift. That doesn't mean go nuts. That doesn't mean don't care about anybody else. Doesn't mean care about just yourself. But it means take a moment every day and realize and appreciate what a gift this one day is if, if you can enjoy it because there's so many people who can't enjoy it through no fault of their own, you know. They can't enjoy it, but you should, if not for them. Now, maybe that's twisted thinking, but that's how I think. So to everybody who can't do it, we're doing it for you because, boy, I've had my share of times when I couldn't do it either. So social. Zigga zagga, zigga zagga, hoi hoi hoi. Zigga zagga, zigga zagga, hoi hoi hoi. Eins, zwei, drei. By the way, I do appreciate the um, the tips. Some lovely perch church donations. You know, we don't patch, patch, patch. We don't, we don't patch either. We don't, we don't patch the back. <laughs> We don't pass the basket, although we should pass a perch, a, a deep frying basket. That's right, deep frying basket on a perch church. And uh, nevertheless, though, if you send a, a few, Jennifer Johnson is a big star supporter. You know, she's always sending stars. God bless you, Jennifer. I want you to know I appreciate it. Any, uh, any tips that you guys do through Super Pay, which is uh, completely safe, uh, as far as I know, you know, <laughs> we haven't had any problems, been using it for a couple of years now. But uh, always appreciate it. Not necessary, but always appreciate it. All right. A couple of songs. Buffett. Chris Suman wants a Buffett. You got it. I'll tell you right now, when Buffett died, a little piece of me died with him. And I mean that. And it hurts to say that because his music has been a blueprint for my life and my career in, in certain aspects of my career. I first heard Jimmy Buffett's music back in the 70s, along with Willie Nelson. And that's a funny story in itself. I'll save for another time. But when I first heard Jimmy Buffett's music, I knew I, I, that that was it. That was the direction I was looking for, you know, at least at that time in my life. And so I went out and tried to live it. I looked for Margaritaville. I drove every inch of A1A. I'm not talking about on 95, and bypassing all the little towns. I did A1A from Key West all the way to Jacksonville. <sighs> Played in bars and drank. And, but, you know, it, to Jimmy Buffett, God bless you, Jimmy. I'm going to I I'm, I'm miss you. I'm going to miss his music. To Jimmy. Let's do a couple of them. Now they're making movies and old black and white Happy endings where nobody fights If you find yourself in that now stop the grade You're gonna jump right up Show your age I wish I had a pencil in your stash Have a boss of black and cat But you told the Ricky Ricardo Jack And an autograph picture of a band of your I remember being but to Skinny, writing hand letters, disguised these petty. We 
wish I had a pencil in the stash. I could cross the streets too. Then stand stand this last row of the night. Be drinking on the fake ID. And romp up the jungle with every once in a while. All the gas musicians smoking marijuana. Yeah, wish I had a pencil in the stash. You're grubbing on the living room floor, so sore. Well, they send you off to college to gain a little knowledge. All you want to do is learn how to score, yeah. But now I get old, I don't wear underwear. I don't go to church, don't cut my hair, Chris. I can go to movies, see how they let it in this to be. We shall have a pencil in the stash. Boss of my gay cat. Oh, Colleen Gretschko in the house. Hey, Colleen. How you doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day, Mike and Michelle. Hope to see you on Sunday. Oh, that would be great if you can make it. We're going to have us big time. Big time. Big old Irish song. I'm not going to do any Irish songs. One Irish song. Hey, we're green alligators and long neck geese. Humpty bumpy camels and chimpanzees. So cats and rats and elephants, you show us your ball. You forget my unicorn. That's all I know. I know one verse. Although it was said to answer the call, he built up his ark and the rain started to fall. And he marched in the animals two by two and called them out as they went through. Hey, Lord, I got you. Green alligators, long neck geese, honking, honking camels, and his fancies. That's a dance of elephants to show your ball. The loveliest of all was the unicorn. The granddaddy song, granddaddy song. That's true. Patricia Baranski is going to see us on Sunday. And we're all going to sing. There'll be green alligators and long babies. Bumpy, bumpy camels and chimpanzees. No pride or insanity of the open door. I gotta learn all the words of that someday. No, just do it the way I do it. Yeah. I like to make shit up anyway. That's how I live my life. I make it up every day as I go along. You got to be flexible, man. General in Grand Cayman. You remember the general? Not general, the general. He gave you a gift. That's right. He gave the girls a gift. General, we do this and that type of thing on the island, you know, man. Hey, my dog, man, play some reggae music. Oh, 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 oh. We'll save that for next Friday, man. I think. I want to thank you all for dropping by the Mad Dog Perch Church Basement of Love. I'm Mike Mad Dog Adams, uh, the pastor of the Perch Church. You might want to call me. You know, in the Catholic Church, they have the Pope, and they call him your holiness. In the Perch Church, you can call me your ass holiness. And I think it works out beautifully for everybody. So, anyway, I hope I could provide a smile and a memory. <sighs> I don't feel like leaving yet, but... It's it's time. You know, I had I had pictures I was gonna show too. But 
Oh, there were green alligators and long neck geese. Okay, this is your this is your Irish quiz for the day. I still got beer left, honey. I can't I can't I can't go with a full beer. So it's the Irish quiz. What is this? Yes, it's a corned beef sandwich, but it's it's also it's also the national symbol of Ireland, right there. If you didn't know, just want to make sure you know. Okay, we will delete these as we go through them. Okay, what is what is this? No, that's me, ladies and gentlemen. The first lady of Ireland, right there. There she is. I guess not. Okay, so we've seen Spencer Tracy and John Wayne and all that. Let me. Geez. Do I have any other any other pictures of note? So here's a here's a good picture. Charlie Brown, West Side Steve. West Side Steve knows some Irish songs. He wears a damn kilt and every god darn thing. He's got air conditioning down around there, don't you know, in the nether regions when it comes to St. Paddy's Day. Here's an old old picture of me and Fiddler How. See, this is what I say. It's my slogan. Live, love, and bark, baby. Yeah, we'll have to go. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm wondering. A closing song. All right. I, I, I can't drink all the beer. Well, I can, but. Hmm? I'm not sure what my close. You know what my closing song is going to be. It's the end of the season. It's going to be freezing again. The end of the summer will march to when a drummer, my friends. Don't it seem like we just got here yesterday? Ain't it funny how the time has passed? Oh, how the season goes so fast. They're shutting down Main Street and counting the receipts again. Hey, there's an ocean of motion, cause everything's closing, my friends. Seems like the older we get, quicker the time has passed. No half season for so fast. season it goes so fast in the town just marches on in the blink of an hour when it's over the day all your friends are gone another typical day another typical tourist town when the tourists all leave now, there ain't nothing going down. It's just a simple reminder how soon things never last. Oh, how the season goes so fast. How the season it goes so fast in the town just marches on. So won't you board up the windows, let the winds blow us away. Put your boat into storage, you will take another voyage till May. I got an idea, let's all meet right here, same time next year. Till then let these memories last. Oh, how the season rolls so fast. We had a blast. Oh, how the season goes so fast. Oh, yeah. I made some new friends to make up those old ones I trashed. Well, we do it sometimes. Oh, how the season goes so fast. Yeah, it goes. 
We're stuck on the island, ain't no sense in trying to Seasons. Seasons. I got. I have the urge to do one more, though. See, I right, see that would be the big finish right there. Normally, that would be the big finish. <laughs> Not the <a> young audience. <laughs> oh, here come the Nazis. There we go. Do you remember this one? I've been thinking about this song. I only know a little bit of it, but uh, and I never play it. It's something. It's a song that I really like, though. Definitely changing the strings. Well, my world used to be sunny. My jokes used to be funny. Now you're gone. Everything's turned around Well, my world used to be warm And there never was a storm Now you're gone And everything's turned upside down And now it's cold outside Yes, the rain is pouring down And the leaves are turning brown Outside, and it's all because of you. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to make you love me. And yeah, now it's cold outside, and the rain is pouring down, and the leaves are turning brown. Can you see me? And now it's cold outside. Cold God bless you, Eric Carmen. Thank you for the great songs. I'm going to play a recorded I want to thank y'all. I, I hope you had a good time this evening. Thanks for dropping by. Mike Mad Dog Adams. Privilege and a financial pleasure to be performing in my basement at the ripe old age of 68 years old. Hanging tough, God damn it. I'll tell you right now. Don't mess with us old people. Russ Runkle, my pleasure, brother. Lori Whitaker. Ah, uh, Lucy. Luch. Luch. Lucy. Luce. Thanks for the Friday purchase. Happy to have you here. Thank you, guys. And I hope to see you Sunday at the uh, Mr. Ed's, formerly Mr. Ed's, final glaze on the meatloaf, Dave Stasco says. All right, I'm going to give you some glaze music. The song I'm going to play for you is one of my own songs, and uh, I, it, it's a Raspberries-esque song. I, when I wrote this song and recorded this song back in 84, 86, I don't know, um, I used groups like the raspberries i wanted to write a power pop song that was the goal of writing the song and the sweet the raspberries nick low come to mind actually i thought of nick low a lot when i wrote this so close the song i'm not gonna play it i'm gonna play the recording of it and i hope you enjoy it's called i feel sorry for your old man don't forget the perch church philosophy of life my friends that every day above ground is a Good day. We old days. You're out of your mind if you think I'll beg. Well, something I don't need or really don't understand. I feel sorry for your old man. I feel sorry for your old man. While he's working hard, you
ten shillings. All the pressure on my thigh from your hand. It's plain to see while he's hurting your flirt with me. I feel sorry for your old man. I feel sorry for your old man. While he's working hard, you're taking your chances. The danger of a stranger is the only love that's in your He is worth 